organisation being the WMC. So it is part of regulation, Hammer, that all fighters do wear the Moncon to centre ring. Well, there are certain protocol and uh, traditions which are followed under uh, WMC regulations. Of course, the Mong Kong is just a respect thing, and uh, the fighters are required to wear that, go over the ropes. In Adelaide, the amateurs have to fight wearing headgear unless they have full MRI scans on their heads prior to the bouts. And this was uh, just a warm-up bout, but uh, both boys were told, nice operators, good technique. Okay, first of three by two in the red, it's Sean Lindley in the blue, it's Shane Caldwell. A super middleweight contest, good outside fire kick there from Sean Lindley from the Barossa Valley, working the overhand right. Short knee to the midsection there from Lindley, Caldwell's got him tied up, good uppercut from Lindley. And Caldwell trying to power through to the fence there, the beautiful left turning hook just caught him on the side of the draw. Nice evasion there from Lindley. Good leg check from Lindley. Overhand right, a little wild there from Shane Cordwell. Gut much in front of the midsection, sends Lindley backwards, and the referee says only a slip in centre ring. Well, nice uh, use of the front front kick there from Caldwell. But uh, Lindley at this point is the uh, more aggressive of the two, pushing forward. Nice straight punching from uh, these relatively inexperienced fighters. They're putting it together well. Just goes to show that uh, there is a good breeding ground in Adelaide. Of, uh, of up and coming fighters, certainly. Wild overhand right there from Sean Lindley. Ties up Cordwell, trying to work the knee under the sternum area. Cordwell on the front foot, takes an outside thigh kick to the lead leg, responds with two of his own. Another outside thigh kick there from Sean Lindley. Left hook, straight right hand from Lindley. Good outside thigh kick, nice combination Ooh. work. And a flicking high left round kick from Lindley. The right round kick actually moved the head guard there of Valve uh, Cordwell. Those head guards are uh, off a little protection, but uh, often if they're moving around the fighter's head, they can actually obstruct the vision of the fighter and sometimes can become a little bit more hindrance than a help. Just fastening the head gear on the, the blue corner there of Shane Cordwell. As we said, Cornwall 2-0. Lindley, three fights, yet to score up his first win of his career. And doing very well at the moment, I must add. Hammer, the boy from the, blue, uh, the red corner. Doing nicely. Very aggressive fighter, pushing forward, working good. Good use of low leg kicks. Wild looping right hand there from Shane Cornwall. Left hook from Cornwall. Lindley gets underneath. Oh, 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 oh. The jaw. Nicely executed and tied knee there. From Lindley, put it in. While Shane Goldwalk went to the canvas, courtesy of the high knee from Sean Lindley, tucked it under the chin. And that'll make Shane Cordwell. Let's have a look as it went down again, Hammer. There was a push kick from earlier in that round. Nicely executed. Bang, there you see the big knee from, uh, from Lindley, right on the button. Timed it perfectly, grappled the head down, and uh, worked it well. Again, having a look, nicely executed grapple, weaved the punch well. Lindley and uh, Shane, very good skills indeed. Well, you can bet that Shane Cordell is doing a quick count of his teeth after that one as we roll into the next round. Good outside fire kick overhand right there from Lindley. Uppercut from Lindley, round kick to the rib cage. Overhand right from Lindley, forcing him back into the corner, and the referee applying a standing count here on Shane Cordwell. Oh, that's a little bit unfair. Cordwell was actually saying he just wanted his head guard adjusted, and the uh, the ref took it that he was in trouble. He's only in trouble because his headgear is moving all over the place. You can see it's not even tucked under his chin there, and the trainer will realign that. It's seen from Alan Wong's Flinders Uni Muay Thai gym. Great crowd building on hand here at the Adelaide Shores Function Centre for Shepster Promotions. Knees of Fury, number six in the ongoing series. Good outside thigh kick there from Cordwell. Wow, oh. left hook from Cordwell. Well, this fight, Michael, on the uh, fight forum, www.sportsblitz.net, has been absolutely going off. It's been the, uh, the most posted uh, post of all time on the forum, on, on the fight forum. Everyone's getting, uh, getting on there and having a say about who's going to win and who's going to lose on Sports Blitz. Pulling the head down to the knees there. Good work from Sean Lindley in the clinch and the referee is going to apply 
a standing count here to Shane Cordwell. And again, that headgear seems to be causing some problems for Cordwell. The strap riding up above his mouth again. And it really is a hindrance, isn't it, Hammer? Oh, it certainly is. I think uh, maybe the, the back of the headgear need, might need a little bit of adjustment. It keeps slipping forward and up. Hammer, especially seeing that they're fighting Muay Thai rules here and those knees are being tucked under the jaw where there is no protection whatsoever from the headgear of Shane Cordwell. Oh, exactly right. The headgear is good. It is uh, government legislation in Adelaide that the headgear is worn and the shin and insteps. But uh, to be honest with you, sometimes they're more of a hindrance and a help. I know uh, when I was fighting and uh, in the amateur boxing, you know, I really didn't like fighting with the headgear and I had worse headaches wearing headgear than without, to be honest with you. After a fight, you know, they can uh, sometimes give you more impact. There is a bigger target area when you've got a headgear or a head protector on. And uh, a lot of punches that would otherwise slip off the side of your face are actually gripping on the headgear.